Ah, uh, hello and good morning to you. This is Dr. Bill Bledsoe bringing you, leading you in another session of your prayers said aloud in the privacy of your home, your heartfelt concerns. I just begin the prayers, but you, and you repeat the beginning, and but you must finish them with your own heartfelt concerns. And when you do, you'll be amazed at how it will change your life. Daily prayer is the basis for, honest, honestly, for my integrity, for my strength, for my moral compass. It gives me everything. And that's what it would do for you, but it's got to be your prayers, not mine. So this is a wonderful method of you praying in the privacy of your own home, and, and you heal your body at the same time. So we'll begin with my prayer. God, I thank you for this wonderful method of prayer. I thank the generations that have brought this to us from the house of Abraham, the house of David, from Jesus, his mother Mary, Father Joseph, Mary Magdalene, and Virginia Ellen, who wrote the book, Sacred Heart Yoga. Amen. Now we're going to, the first two prayers, you'll repeat after me. You don't have to worry about finishing. And then from then on, I mean, it's like, I think, 40 prayers total, but so another 38 prayers you'll finish, and it'll be your, your prayer time, not mine. So we begin with uh, Sacred Heart Yoga morning prayer. Repeat after me. Beloved God, I devote this practice this day. to the evolution of my soul. To the fulfillment of my destiny. In service to you, O oh God. And I allow myself to be purified of fear. As I rejoice in your kingdom of heaven and your love, O oh God. And I give thanks for these blessings. These moments I share with my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul in oneness with you, O oh God. And so it is, amen. Om. Now the second prayer that you'll repeat after me is clearing our minds of fears. Uh, they, they call it clearing our energy field. We do this with a motion. We hold our hand up to the 12 o'clock position, straight up over our heads. We rotate it over to the three o'clock position to our right, our right knee, left knee, nine o'clock position, and then back up to the 12 o'clock position up above our heads. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, 
God, I clear my energy field of anyone or anything standing within. I bless them and I send them into your love, your light, O oh God. Um. Now for the rest of the prayers, you'll be finishing them, adding it to them. I always give you a time to add whatever you want to it. So we begin by asking God, how may we serve you? And the answer comes to me in no more than one or two words. Sometimes it's a, a heartfelt feeling, something in my heart that God puts there. Sometimes every now and then it'll be nothing at all. And, and no matter what comes to me, even nothing at all, I incorporate it into the rest of my prayers all morning. And, and by the time I'm done with the, the session of Sacred Heart Yoga, I always know exactly what I'm supposed to learn and do this day. It's just, it's never failed me in all in years. So we do this by putting our right hand over our hearts and here, and I, I say it with our prayers begin with, that means you've got to finish them if you have anything you want to add. And here our prayers begin with, God, how may I serve you this day? Um. Now we stand up and we're going to announce out loud what came to us. We do this standing straight and tall, put our hands at our sides, our arms at our sides, our palms forward. And here our prayers begin with, God, my intention to serve you this day is to Now we seal our oath in, in Aramaic. An oath was sealed by saying the word Amen three times. Here we're going to seal our oath to God of our intention to serve by singing Amen three times. Any tune, any tone, whatever feels right to you in the privacy of your own home. Amen. 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 
Now we're going to sit back down on our mats and we will lay on our backs, getting into what's called resting position. Our arms at our sides, our legs outstretched. And we begin by pulling our right knee up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we take our right foot in our left hand, pull it over to our left thigh, let our right knee fall down to the mat, and our right arm goes straight up above our heads, stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Oh. Now we take our right foot in our right hand. Our left arm goes straight up above our heads. We hold our, our foot down near our pelvis. Our left arm goes straight up above our heads down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true Father, I love you and I thank you for Oh, now we take our right foot, put it up towards the heavens. And here our prayers begin with. God, my true father, I love you and I thank you for. Um, now we let our right leg fall down to the mat, our knee down flat on the mat, out to the right side of our bodies, opening our pelvis as wide as we can. We let our arms fall straight out from our chest, down to the mats, palms up. And here our prayers begin with, 
God, my true father, I love you and I thank you for Now we turn our heads to the right and we take our right leg up over across our bodies over to the left side down to the mat keeping our shoulders flat on the mat and here our prayers begin with God my true father I love you and I thank you for Now we go back to resting position, legs outstretched, arms at our sides, and we pull our left knee up to our chest, holding it there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we hold our left foot in our right hand, pull it over to our right thigh. Let our left knee fall down towards the mat. Our, right, our left arm goes straight up above our heads, stretched out down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Um, now we switch hands. We take our left foot in our left hand, holding it down near our pelvis, and our right arm gets stretched out straight above our heads down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you. And I thank you for
Aum. Now we point our left foot up towards the heavens, holding it with our left hand. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you. And I thank you for Now we let our left leg fall out to the left side of our bodies. Our knee down to the mat, opening our pelvis as wide as we can. Our arms fall straight out to the sides, down to the mat, palms up. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Oh. Now we turn our heads to the left, keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat. We take our left leg straight up over across our bodies, over to the right side, turning our heads to the left, shoulders down. And here our prayers begin with, God, my true mother, I love you and I thank you for Oh. <clears throat> now we go back to resting position. Legs outstretched, arms at our sides. <clears throat> Here we pull both knees up to our chest, holding them there with our arms and our hands. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we hold our right foot in our right hand, our left foot in our left hand, keeping them down near our pelvis. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you. And I thank you for oh. 
Om. Now keeping our feet down near our pelvis, we pull our feet apart. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we <clears throat> take our feet and point both of them up towards the heavens, holding them there with our hands. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you. And I thank you for Um. Now we let our feet fall down to the mat, right near our pelvis. Our knees are pointed heavenward. Our arms, once again, fall out to the sides, down to the mat, but this time our palms are down flat on the mat. We turn our heads to the left, keeping our shoulders down flat on the mat, take our knees to the right, down to the mat, and here our prayers begin with, God, I love you and I thank you for Um. Now we turn our heads to the right and keeping our shoulders down flat on the back mat, we take our knees over to the left side of our bodies down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, God, I love you and I thank you for Oh Now we go back to resting position and this is the second time that we surrender our fears to God. That's very important that we do this. I guess I've been taught through the years that I cannot be terrified of something or someone and yet still love them. And so I have to release my fears to be able to love God, to love others. 
So this is the second time we're going to try to release our fears to God. We do it by putting our hands up under our sit bones, leaning forward on our elbows, trying to touch the tops of our heads back down to the mat. <clears throat> and here our prayers begin with, God, I surrender to you. Um, now we lay down on the mat. And we <clears throat> get back in resting position. We reach for the heavens with our left hand. And we let it fall over to the right side of our body, stretching our left shoulder and left back. And we take our right hand halfway between our left elbow and left shoulder, stretching our left shoulder and back even farther. And here our prayers begin with, God, in your name, I choose to Um, now we take our right hand, extend it up towards the heavens, reaching for the heavens, and we let it fall over to the left side of our bodies stretching our right shoulder and back, and we take our left hand halfway between our right shoulder and right elbow, stretching our backs farther. And here our prayers begin with, God, in your name, I can. Um, now we go back to resting position, legs outstretched, arms at our sides. And we pull our feet up to our pelvis. <clears throat> Let our knees fall out to the outside, forming a triangle below our bodies. We call it a tabernacle. A tabernacle is a house of God. We form a second tabernacle by putting our hands in prayer position over our hearts, extending them up two-thirds of the way up to the heavens. And in this house of God, above our hearts, we find God's beautiful chalice, bubbling over, brimming over with any gift we could ever desire, want, or need. And we get to keep this gift if we ask for it. And, and we get to keep it as long as we don't use it to serve ourselves. We use it to serve God instead. We'll lose it if we, we try to glorify ourselves. And, and I mean, God will take it away just as quick as he gave it to us.
So here our prayers begin with, God, I drink from your chalice, your gifts to me of. Now, keeping our hands in prayer position, we put them right above our heads down to the mat, and our elbows fall out to the sides down to the mat. And here our prayers begin with, well, what we're doing is we're forming a tabernacle, a house of God over our entire bodies. So here our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for healing my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul. Um. Now we are going to begin the <clears throat> anointing series. And what it is, is four prayers, four different little poses with our hands. But we repeat the four prayers three different times. So it's called a series. And what we do during this whole series is we're thanking, thanking God for the gifts that he has given us. So during the whole anointing series, we keep our hands in prayer position. We begin by putting our thumbs up to our foreheads. Here, <clears throat> our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts to me of Um. Now we take our thumbs down to our lips, hands always in prayer position. And here our prayers begin with, God, I bless, and I will use them only in your service, your gifts to me of. Um. Now we take our hands down over our hearts and here our prayers begin with 
God, I thank you for your gifts to me of Um, now the fourth position is actually a movement in each of the three sets. So on this fourth one, we put our fingers down into our abdomens, keeping our hands in prayer position always. And we extend our arms out to right above our pelvis and extend our arms out straight. And they're like the arms of a clock at the three o'clock position. We move them counterclockwise up to the 12 o'clock position towards the heavens and then down above our heads, down to the mat. And as we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul with your gifts to me of Now we go back and start the second in this three-part series. Take our thumbs to our foreheads and our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts to me of Um, now we take our thumbs down to our lips and our prayers begin with, God, I bless and I will only use them in your service, your gifts to me of Um, now we take our hands in prayer position over our hearts. And here <clears throat> our prayers begin with. God, I truly thank you for your gifts to me of Um, oh. 
Now we <clears throat> take our hands and, and point them down into our abdomens and extend them out to the three o'clock, 12 o'clock, nine o'clock positions. And as we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill <clears throat> my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul with your gifts to me of Um, now we take our thumbs back to our foreheads for the third and final in the anointing series. And our prayers begin with, God, I anoint your gifts to me of Now we take our thumbs down to our lips and our prayers begin with, God, I bless and I will use them only in your service, your gifts to me of Now we take our hands down over our hearts in prayer position. And here our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for your gifts to me of Now we do the motion, pointing our fingers down into our abdomens and extending them out to the three o'clock, 12 o'clock, nine o'clock position. As we do this motion, our prayers begin with, God, I fill my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul with your gifts to me of Um, now 
Now we go back to resting position and we cross our right ankle over our left ankle, our right wrist over our left wrist, over our hearts. And here our prayers begin with, God, I truly thank you for always protecting me, for keeping me safe, sides and push ourselves back up into sitting position using our arms and our hands now we extend our right leg straight out in front of us our knee down to the mat our left foot it goes across our right knee. We hold our left arm with our right arm. And we take and turn. Our left arm goes behind our backs for support. And now we twist our heads, our shoulders, and our backs to the left, and our prayers begin with, desire I am, desire I am, desire I am. God, in your name, I desire to. Now we take our left foot straight out in front of us. Our right foot goes across our left knee. We hold our right knee with our left arm and we take our right arm behind our backs for support. We twist our heads, our shoulders, our backs to the right. And here our prayers begin with, Will I am, will I am, will I am. God, in your name, I will. Um, now we're going to get up on our knees. We put our hands over our hearts in prayer position and here our prayers begin with 
God, I truly thank you for Um. Now we form a small tabernacle with our hands, putting our tips of our thumbs together, the tips of our first fingers together. And we put this tabernacle down on the mat, and we're going to lean over in child's pose, put our foreheads into this tabernacle. And here we're going to just take a minute and feel God's presence in the world around us and feel God's love filling every cell in our bodies. Um. Now we go back to sitting position, and this time we extend our right leg out to the right side of our bodies, our knee down to the mat, our left foot comes up to the inside of our right thigh, and here our prayers begin with God in your name I will become Om. Now we take our left foot over to the left side. Our right foot comes up to the inside of our left thigh. And here our prayers begin with
God, in your name, I am. Um. Now we go back to sitting position. We sit up straight and tall. We have our hands on our knees, our thumbs touching our middle two fingers. And sitting straight and tall, keeping our back straight, we bow forward at our pelvis. And here our prayers begin with, I bow to you, God, for healing my body, my mind, my spirit, and my soul. Um. <clears throat> now we sit back up straight and tall a second time, bowing at our pelvis, bowing forward and keeping our back straight, and here our prayers begin with. I bow to you, God, my father, my mother, the one, the oneness. Oh. Now, sitting back straight and tall, we feel where we're grounded down to the mat on our left side and right side of our pelvis. On the left side of our pelvis, we feel God's wonderful white light of God's love filling our bodies, filling our legs to the fullest, to the tips of our toes, filling our abdomens, every cell and every organ coming up into our chest, filling our hearts, and our hearts that can act like beacons with God's love, filling our lungs with every breath with God's love. And it comes out through our arms to the tips of our fingers. The white light goes up through our throats into our minds, and our minds are blazing with the white light of God's love goes out the tops of our heads up into the skies above us for as far as we can imagine. And then it billows out like clouds in all directions going covering the whole earth. And it rains down God's love on every living creature on the entire earth. Now we feel on the right side of our pelvis God's blue light of truth fills our legs to the fullest, to the tips of our toes. God's blue light of truth comes up and fills our abdomens, every cell and every organ. Comes up, fills our hearts, and our hearts spread it to our bodies with every heartbeat. Our lungs breathe in more of God's truth with every breath. 
God's blue light goes up through our arms, to the tips of our fingers, up through our throats, and into our heads, giving us God's truth at all times. Goes out the tops of our heads, the blue light goes up into the skies above us, filling the skies for as high as we can imagine, and it billows out around the whole earth in all directions and rains down God's truth on every living creature for them to decide if they want to accept it or not. Their choice. Now we can step up into the light above our heads, stay as long as we want, ask anything that we want, but the one thing we should always ask before leaving is, God, what do I need to know this day? <laughs>